Welcome to this first lecture of the course on Applied Stochastic Diffusion Equations. And the title of the first lecture is Pragmatic Introduction to Stochastic Diffusion Equations. The contents of the lecture is the following. We will start by introducing what are stochastic diffusion equations. Then we will proceed to examples of stochastic processes in physics and engineering, which will lead to stochastic diffusion equation models. Then we will attempt to solve SDEs or stochastic diffusion equations using heuristic methods derived from deterministic ODE solution methods. Then we will attempt the same to nonlinear SDEs and notice that it doesn't lead to anything useful. Finally, we will summarize the lecture. Let's start with an introduction to what are stochastic diffusion equations. So we can think that uh, we start with an ordinary diffusion equation of this form. So we have uh, some vector x whose time derivative is uh, equal to f function of x and time t. This kind of model describes some kind of a physical phenomenon, for example, the motion of a car. And if we know f on the right hand side, we can determine the trajectory exactly by solving this equ equation. However, in practice, we might not have that kind of accurate model. So let's now add a white noise process to the right hand side of this equation, which is denoted here as wt. Now the solution to the equation is so that we have a mean kind of trajectory which is described by the original deterministic equation and then we have a random wt white noise which distracts the original solution from its deterministic path. Then we can generalize this equation a bit by adding a multiplier matrix L of x and t, which uh, determines how the white noise actually enters the system. So the density or the amplitude of the noise might depend on the uh, state that we are on. So this is a stochastic diffusion equation in the general form that we will study during this course. Here, if which is a function of x and, x and t, is called the treat function, and L, which is a function of x and t as well, is the dispersion matrix. And uh, wt is the white noise. Let's now take a look what kind of process actually is white noise which enters the stochastic differential equation. A white noise is a random function w of t such that uh, if we are given two values, w at t1 and w at t2, they're going to be independent, provided that these two, two time points, t1 and t2, are not equal. The function wt is also a Gaussian process with zero mean and the covariance given by Dirac delta function times q. This q matrix is also called the spectral density of the process. It turns out that the sample path of wt is discontinuous almost everywhere. Almost everywhere meaning that in practice it is discontinuous. Theoretically in some zero measure sets it might be continuous, but it's more like a theoretical and mathematical property. White noise also turns out to be unbounded and it takes arbitrary large positive and negative values at any finite interval. So in that sense, it's very strange process. So what does a solution to stochastic differential equation then look like? This is an example of simple SDE solution, which is called Brownian motion. So Brownian motion can be thought of as a solution to stochastic differential equation, where time derivative of x is equal to a white noise. So on the left here, we have a trajectory of a Brownian motion, which is basically a random walk path in one dimension. On the right we can see the evolution of the probability density of the Brownian motion. So it starts from being very narrow and widens as the time passes. On the left we also have the 95 percent quantiles drawn in the figure. This is another example of a stochastic diffusion equation model. 
It is a second order stochastic differential equation which models a spring which has a stochastic force entering the system. When we draw a solution, we get one of those thin paths shown in the figure. When we draw another one, we will get another path and, and so on. So in mean, we, get, we would get solution which is shown with black in the figure, but in practice each of the solutions is a separate random draw which resembles the path of a spring but has a stochastic component inside. And we can even compute the 95 quantiles of the solutions theoretically, which are shown, in, um, shown as dashed lines in the figure.